had to have a difficult conversation with my mom. This conversation was going to change the course of our lives forever, especially mine. As I built up the courage, I walked into my mom's bedroom with my head down. And I uttered the words, Mom, I have to tell you something. And I know you're going to be mad and upset with me. I picked up my head and I stopped and said, I'm pregnant. In that moment, the world grew quiet. That awkward silence filled the room and I began to cry. You know, this wasn't the life that I dreamt for myself. This wasn't how it was supposed to be for me. Within seconds, my mom gives me the biggest hug as I break down in her arms and cry. You know, she gave me the positive words of Jalisa, I have your back and this isn't the end of the world. Those words gave me hope. Those words breathed life back into me when I began to feel like it all came to an end. So fast forward nine months, and on August 23rd, 2005, I had my beautiful daughter, Kara Marie. Returning home from the hospital, I looked my newborn daughter into her eye, and I made her a promise that I was going to work extremely hard so that she could live the life of her dreams. You know, it was my job as her mother to make sure that she didn't face the obstacles that I did. It was my job as her mother to love her, guide her, and protect her. So, to, so the term to finish high school, I had to enroll my daughter in daycare at six weeks old. Yes, six weeks old. Trust me, it was against my better judgment, but failure wasn't an option and I didn't have a choice. Statistics state, 49% of teen moms drop out of high school. June 14, 2006, I walked across the stage to receive my high school diploma. But I promise you, it wasn't the last stage that I was standing on. I was accepted into Chatham College, which we now know as Chatham University, but I had to drop out in my first semester. I felt like a complete failure. I felt that I let my daughter down. Now, I could manage high school, but I couldn't balance college. So the negative thoughts began to cloud my mind, and you know, I began to say, that's my judgment. But then I remembered the promise that I made my daughter, that I was going to work extremely hard so that she could live the life of her dreams. And my mom poured words into me. She said, Jalisa, it's not the end of the road. You have to take a different path to achieve your goals, but you can do it. I believe in you. Little did I know at that time that it was a minor setback for a major comeback. So as I continued to work towards my academic goals, I continued to work full time as well. And on May 24, 2010, I had my second daughter, Jalen Dior. Now, it didn't stop me. I didn't second guess myself, but I knew I needed to work harder. So, what did that look like? I worked nine to five, picked up my girls from after school by 5.30, got them home by 5.45, was back out the door by six to be the class that didn't end until 10 o'clock at night. And then to do that again and again, day after day. The pressure was almost too much for me. It began to make me feel as if I couldn't do it. But I'm a firm believer that God would not put more on you than you can bear. Becoming <laughs> mom at 16 was not in my plan, but it was definitely in God's plan. So 2% of teen moms graduate college by the age of 30. Well, I'm 30 years old, mom of two beautiful daughters. I received my associate's degree at 24, bachelor's degree at 26, MBA at 28. 
And next Friday, May 10th, I graduate with my second master's. So I say all of this to say, moms, believe in your daughters. Speak life into your daughters. Your words provide hope, perseverance, and determination. Because my mother believed in me and spoke life into me, I am beating the odds society tried to place them. It's not about how you start, it's all about how you finish.